Welcome back to BNB Guidance. Today we will discuss on block and tackle. Block and tackle system of uh, pulleys. As you know, block and tackle system is an arrangement of pulleys which is used to multiply force. Always mechanical advantage of block and tackle system is uh, greater than 1. In fact, uh, in block and tackle system there are there are two sets of pulleys one set of pulley uh, is attached to a rigid support and we call it the upper block another set of pulley is attached to the load and uh, this, this is called the lower block the lower block is moving along with the load see one rope is passed over the pulleys and effort can be applied in a downward direction in this system which I have. Here, please notice number of pulleys in the upper block is equal to the number of pulleys in the lower block. Two pulleys are there in the upper block and two pulleys are there in the lower block. Here, another system I have made. In this case, the number of pulleys in the upper block is uh, one more than the number of pulleys in the lower block. In the lower block only two pulleys but in the upper block there are three pulleys. And the rope is passed over the pulley such a way that the effort can be applied in the downward direction. Okay, good. Well, let us come to this one. Here in the upper block only one pulley and the lower block two pulleys. That means uh, number of pulleys in the upper block is one less than the number of pulleys in the lower block and uh, see here I have to apply effort in the upward direction. I cannot, I will not be able to pass the rope over the pulley such a way that effort can be applied in the downward direction in this system. So we may not prefer this one because it is convenient for us to apply effort in the downward direction, right? Well. So either we will go for this kind of block and tackle system or this kind of block and tackle system. Please notice that in this case I can uh, pass the rope over these pulleys such a way that effort can be applied in uh, upward direction also. See that. Here uh, number of pulleys in the upper block and the lower block uh, are the same. The two pulleys are there in upper block and the two pulleys are there in the uh, lower block but this string is passed over the pulley such a way that effort can be applied in a upward direction well uh, we will study more about the block and tackle system with the help of uh, this one uh, let me remove the other two well, uh, now we have to draw the diagram of this pulley system here in the upper block there are uh, two pulleys uh, please notice that both the pulleys rotate about the same axis axis is the same ok let me draw the diagram here one pulley next pulley nearby this ok and uh, here this is the axle oh, difficult to draw the diagram this way it is very difficult uh, so we can make our work easy ok let us do that then another way see for that we will make the rigid support Two blocks are there, upper block and lower block. So, upper block frame I am drawing. Okay, this is the frame for upper block and this is the frame for lower block. First I will draw that. Then I will make one circle to represent the pulley. This is the uppermost pulley. I am using a wooden disc. You can use your uh, compass next pulley you can draw with a different radius 
it is less than the uppermost pulley. Radius is a, it is less than the uppermost pulley. Now, uh, load is uh, attracted to the lower block. As I told you, load will be always represented by one R letter line. Here you can show the hook, and here also hook you can show. Okay, uh, good. Now we have to pass the rope over the pulleys. Here effort is applied in the downward direction. So let us draw this strand first. And uh, this rope is passed over the uppermost pulley of the upper block. From there, it must go into the lowermost pulley of the lower block. So here it is. From here, the string or rope is passed over the next pulley in the upper block. Well, from upper block, it must go to lower block. Okay. From lower block, it must go to the upper block. Uh, but there are no more pulleys in the upper block. Then what will you do? You will connect it to the hook. Okay. Well. Done. Now, this load is uh, supported by how many strands of the string? Only one string we have used. How many strands are there? Here you can see. How many strands are there? Four strands are there. So, this load is supported by four strands. So, I must show it here. These strands are under tension, right? So, tension I will Well, so we understand load is equal to 4 times of uh, T. T represents tension. What about effort? Here, effort. Effort is equal to the tension here. So, effort, I can write that is equal to T. From this, you can calculate the mechanical advantage of this pulley system. What is that? Mechanical advantage. Mechanical advantage is equal to load by effort is equal to 4 T by T. That is equal to 4. So, mechanical advantage of a block and tackle system of 4 pulleys is equal to 4. But this mechanical advantage is uh, ideal mechanical advantage only. When we wrote load is equal to 4 times of tension, we did not consider weight of a lower block. We did not consider the friction also. In fact, when I am applying effort here, load is being raised Okay, but along with the load, lower block also being raised. I have to overcome the weight of lower block also. Isn't it? So, if you are ignoring friction and weight of lower block, then only I can write load is equal to 4 times of tension. So, I must say that this mechanical advantage is ideal mechanical advantage. Actual mechanical advantage is uh, less than 4. So, this is an uh, ideal case. Now, let us find the velocity ratio. Uh, by definition, velocity ratio is the ratio of velocity of effort to the velocity of a load. Uh, in other words, velocity ratio is the ratio of a displacement of effort to the displacement of load in the given time. Here, 
Uh, imagine you have to raise this load through a height of x unit. Then length of each strand must be shortened by x unit. Isn't it? That means uh, this effort must move through a distance of uh, 4x unit because there are 4 strands here. Well, so I can, if I am representing this uh, displacement of load by x, displacement of effort will be 4x. So velocity ratio is equal to displacement of effort divided by displacement of load that is equal to 4x by x that is equal to 4. Did you notice one thing? Here velocity ratio is equal to number of strands supporting the load. 4 strands are there to support the load. That is true only. Velocity ratio is equal to number of strands supporting the load. In ideal case, mechanical advantage also equal to number of strands supporting the load. But practically, mechanical advantage will be less than number of strands supporting the load. Okay. Uh, let us find the efficiency in ideal case. Efficiency is equal to mechanical advantage divided by velocity ratio. In this case, 4 divided by 4 that is equal to 1. Or we can say uh, 100%. So, efficiency is equal to 100%. Please remember that is in ideal case. In actual case, efficiency will be less than 100%.